it is a cold, wet, windy morning here in West Brecon. Um, that's the Usk, Usk Reservoir out there. And I've come here to do a bit of gravel bike riding for the next couple of days, make some films, do a bit of traveling around, learn the area a little bit more, I absolutely adore riding my bike in, in these areas and I have done for years and years and that's what I've come to sort of make some videos about, also get a bit more experience riding some gravel bike stuff. I've got a route that's gonna take me around uh, the Usk Reservoir that we've just seen um, and then possibly up into the forest. The Usk Reservoir was completed in 1955 and the nine kilometre loop takes in amazing gravel tracks, perfect for the beginner off-road cyclists. The views are absolutely stunning. I finally found the kind of gravel tracks that I've had in my head all this time. Weather may not be perfect, but these trails sure are. Look at that. This is the perfect way to start my trip on the bike. The undulating gravel tracks were perfect to start my bike trip. I even had a red kite take off right in front of me. I had to stop pedaling from time to time to take in the joy of what I was doing. Just me, my bike, the trail and the views. Not today, Jose. Bit too deep for me. And I've got enough kit to try and dry out. I'll come back and do you another day, though. So that must be where the river enters the reservoir back there, that the ford that I bottled. <laughs> because I don't know it and because I don't have much in the way of dry clothing but I will come back one day. Ah, here's the main, the main part of the river entering the reservoir. Ah, it's stunning. The wind was howling too much to speak to the camera but this stretch of road on the border of Powys and Carmarthenshire is where I filmed the intro to the Grand Tour in 2020 and it was a touch warmer and drier out on the bike that day. So I've crossed the main road that takes you to Black Mountain. More of that a bit later. I'm heading up the fire track, um, which isn't shown on the map as being something that's rideable, but I know for a fact they do a lot of forestry up here. So my assumption would have been that to get the logging lorries up here, I'd need a track like this. And here it is. I have seemingly nailed a gravel route. I had to come to Brecon to find it. Whilst this is gonna sound daft to most of you, I felt like I had found the holy grail of gravel bike riding. This is what I'd had in my head. This is what I'd failed to find so far. It wasn't technical in any way really, apart from ensuring I picked my line carefully on a speedy descent or two, but this is exactly what I came here for. I was driving along here about four o'clock this morning. All these sheep were going nuts along here. Just a short little bit of road. Take me back to the reservoir. Short little ride, it's gonna be, I guess around 11 or 12K by the time I get back. Only a short one, because I have a date over the south side of the Black Mountain with a famous singer. And here we are, back where we started. Back at Gloria Hesteban. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. No, my date was not with the 80s Cuban-American singer-songwriter. I was unusually grateful not to be in the saddle as I headed over the very bleak Black Mountain into Brinamon, a village I've ridden through dozens of times. 
I'm fascinated by the places I pass through. Bikes allow you to travel slowly enough, but also silently enough to experience the lives of those that live where our tires roll. In Brennaman, the cinema stood out to me every time I rode through. To be honest, I looked it up to see when it had closed down, only to find it was still open, and had been continuously so for 97 years. Tom is the general manager and he invited me to come and spend some time filming at the cinema after watching the Whitney Houston biopic I Wanna Dance With Somebody. The place is amazing. It's a community hub in a village that thrived during the Industrial Revolution, but has fallen on harder times, much like the rest of Wales, since those industries moved on. The cinema is a community hub, more than just a theatre, more than a picture house. It's the heartbeat of Brennanum, and I found it and made new friends thanks to my bike. Torrential rain and high winds hit communities across much of Wales with cars submerged, travel disruption and properties flooded. A month's rainfall in 24 hours, rivers bursting their banks and homes and businesses underwater. I had considered bringing my road bike as well as my gravel bike and I'm glad I didn't. Every available space had cycling kit hanging from bungees, soaked through, helmets, shoes, jersey, bibs. There was no way it was going to dry out. Seeing the troops getting Endex on the mountaintop on the way back over had me thinking, perhaps tomorrow's off-grid, off-map and off-road explore over the mountain summit may not just be beyond my ability in this weather, it would also be reckless. If something were to happen to me, sense needed to prevail and a new plan needed to be drawn up. But first, food. <laughs> 